वो तो अभी ऑफिस से तो सारे एन मोमेंट पे ज्वाइन करेंगे इन दिस नाउ स्ट्रीमिंग लाइव ऑन YouTube अभी रुक जाओ
Arun sir, I think we should start now. So we have 60 participants with us. So I think we can go ahead. Dr. Vishal. Yes, sir. Can we go ahead, sir? Yes, sir. Can we, we can start, sir. Please. Is is uh, Dr. Nitin or Dr. Parmanan going to join us or not? Sir, Parmanan sir is not coming. He will join us in between. Okay. Yeah. Nitin sir, kai bar. So we can start the session. Yeah. May, may I, I think request... sir is in busy in the meeting. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. May I request Dr. Abab to kindly switch on his video. Dr. Abab. Yes, sir. All yours to you. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. So, a very good afternoon to one and all. <clears throat> On behalf of the organizing team, I, Arun Prakash Agrawal, take this opportunity to welcome you all to this webinar on IPR and patent publication, which is being organized by School of Engineering and Technology in association with the School of Architecture and Planning. I must congratulate the organizing team for taking this initiative and selecting such a relevant topic for this webinar. <clears throat> I am also grateful to our speaker today, who is none other than Dr. Abab Fake, who is currently an educator at AIKTC. Dr. Abab is an enthusiastic educator, well-versed in classroom teaching methods and communication ICT tools for teaching. He is passionate about fostering academic development and success for every student. He is an innovative and strategic leader with a successful history of operating in complex, chaotic environments and achieving dramatic results. With a firm belief in innovative education and years of experience in entrepreneurship, he envisions a technologically advanced, self-reliant India empowered by youth-driven innovation. As a contemporary educator, he believes that is starting at the grassroots level, incorporating application-based curricula for students and promoting vocation and skill-based education are the first steps to simulate young minds and create a localized innovation ecosystem. He is also of the opinion that by challenging impressionable minds, nurturing an autonomous literal thought process through engaging workshops, discussions, seminars, creative activities and interactions with entrepreneurs and think tanks, professionals can motivate students to adopt an entrepreneurial mindset. Having established his own ad tech startup, conducting independent research and patenting several inventions he learned that imbibing a humanitarian approach to innovation among his students helps them develop need-based creative solutions with a strong desire to better mankind. As a startup mentor at the Atal Incubation Center and as the mentor of change, he believes that Indian education system will truly be reformed through AI technology-based disruption. The youth workforce holds the power to create a close-knit network of innovators and entrepreneurs to steer the nation towards an Atmanirbhar future. Integrating innovation, startup, and IPR cells at higher education institutional institutions, he aims to foster disruptive and innovative education. With these words, may I now request Dr. Awad to kindly take over and address the audience. Dr. Awab. Thank you so much, Dr. Aran. Thank you so much. You. Welcome, sir. Welcome. So if I can have the permission to share my screen, I'll be very grateful to you. Yeah, Dr. Yes, Rampo, sir. I'm doing that. <laughs> So should I keep my, my uh, camera on uh, or should I keep it off to avoid any latency? Yeah, as, you, as per your convenience, sir, you can go ahead. Okay. 
you can switch off your video if you feel so A very good afternoon to all the 77 participants over here. I like, I should not say the participant, I should say uh, seniors, dignitaries. In fact, uh, Ritter's replacing the word by the word participant by our dignitaries. Thank you so much for being a part of this webinar. Uh, I'll make sure the, the complete webinar will be dividing you to two different segments. One part, the first part will be focusing on the different, different types of IPR. Okay, so normally we hear about uh, about patent, we have heard about trademark, we heard about copyright, right? So let's talk about the in detail about uh, a different types of IPR. That that will be the first part of the webinar. Uh, the next uh, forty five minutes will be just will be picking up, picking up only one of the type of IPR that will be patent. So we'll be discussing more into much detail about patent. So we'll be discussing about the what are the procedures to file a patent, or who, what are the forms required to file a patent, what are the norms you have, you have to follow it, what is the complete procedure under Indian government law to file a patent for it. So let's let let's start with this. When you talk about IPR, my dear colleagues, my dear friends, uh, we'll be using a chat room very effectively. So I have to have an amazing interaction. And whichever point you feel that you want that this to be covered into this webinar, I'll make sure that is covered. You can just use the chat room very effectively. We can interact via the chat room as well. So if possible, I'll cover up all the points. If not, I'll reply you via mailer, keeping uh, Dr. Vishal sir in CC. Don't worry that that is my commitment to you. So let's, let's have an amazing session with you guys. No doubt it is afternoon, but we'll make sure there is some, some, some outcome from this webinar. That is completely my responsibility. Without an outcome, it won't be because the organizers have taken a lots of lots of efforts. So let's use it very wisely. Let's use it very effectively. Firstly, when we talk about IPR, my dear colleagues, my dear dignitaries over here, when we talk about IPR, the IPR is a very, 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 very old concept. Very, very old concept. Thank you so much, Varsha. Ma'am. Thank you so much for taking an initiative. Very, very, very old concept. So like it was discussed back in 1845. Just imagine, my friends. Again, again, the issuing of protecting IPR were the first discussed in Paris Convention in 1883 and Bern Convention in 1883. Both the treaty are administered by WIPO. When we say WIPO, that is a World Intellectual Property Organization. That means the concept is very, very old. So IPR is anything which originates from a mind, we can say, or the, or the creative work of a human intellect. So all of, all of us who are there over here, like let's, let's talk about uh, Varsha, like I, I wouldn't say Varsha, I will say inventor Varsha for, for her. So which originates from a mind or creative work of human intellect, from a human being, such as like songs, which we listen on laptop, floral design on bedsheet and so on. So my dear friends, we call this as a property because like the other properties, like for example, we, if we talk about house, if we talk about land, gold, etc., we can sell it, we can make money profit from it, we can trade with it, we can take also loan. Similarly, my dear friends, similarly with the IPR, you can sell your IPR, you can make money from your IPR, you can trade with your IPR, you can also take loans with your IPR. But my dear friends, the property here is the knowledge expressed in the document by the owner or we can say by the inventor. So over here, I can see only one name that is inventor Varsha, Varsha right? So the, if she is filing a document for it, okay? So the document which is being prepared by inventor Varsha, so that means she is the owner for that particular idea. For the, We can not say idea, we can say innovation. Idea is not appropriate word, but we can say innovation in that part. But my dear friends, let's be very, very clear. We do not get any rights for idea and imagination. 
the information reflected in those information is a real subject matter of protection for example my dear friends if i imagine about a flying car that thing cannot be protected but if i actually convert it into a physical subject my dear friends then that is an invention that can be protected if it justifies all the protocols ipr is confined to a particular territory for example we have uh, mohammad atiq over here a very good afternoon mohammad atiq for example if inventor atiq okay if inventor atiq and inventor varsha are working on a, some uh, project okay and by god grace they completed the project they have filed for the uh, patent and so on and they and they got a grant for it okay so if they get a grant for it that means that if they applied it for an indian patent that patent that innovation is valid only the territory of indian country only in that particular country it won't be valid in any other country so that is the meaning of this so it is valid, confined to only to that particular country so in other words like this laws won't be applicable to any other particular territory my dear friends for example if like any invention granted property in india then only laws related to india is applicable no the law like from any other country would be applicable for that even your innovation won't be like just like won't be eligible for any other any other country except your filing country okay so that is the way it would it really works so before going to much details over here a very good afternoon uh, inventor uh, gaikwad so before going to further more details my dear friends i would like to explain you about the term for protection okay so let's take an example for example over here we have inventor gaikwad inventor mohammad atiq inventor varsha with us okay so all this three people uh, three inventors were working on uh, some product okay and they go and they are they went for the process they published it got granted and so on so once it is granted uh, there is a benefit which is given by the country right the benefit is known as a term for protection that means for this particular period no one else can use this in, in, innovation except you because that is done by you so that is the royalty that is the benefit you get from that country so that is the meaning of term for protection now you would say awab you said there are different types of ipr that means the term for protection is different for all the ipr or is it same for all the ipr my dear colleagues it is different for all, all ipr it would be different for patent it is different for trademark it is different for copyright and so on so that is a small brief about your ipr my dear friends so let's go into much for much further details over here thank you so much inventor varsha mohammad atiq and uh, inventor gaikwad for being so interactive in the chat room itself so basically uh, they are divided into two major categories okay the first category we can talk about that is registered slash non registered category and the second one is your industrial slash academia category this is a small brief about this so not all the forms of ipr colleagues requires registration in case of copyright and trade secret registration is not necessary like in, if you are observed it you, you might have seen many of the website or even your institutional website very few of them copyright their own content under government of india they do the all the filing procedure which is required for the copyright but even if they don't do that filing process but they still write on the website the above content is copyrighted for so and so organization right so that is something under the category of a non registered category so copyright you can register as well as you can not register for trade secret there is no registration requires i will be discussing more further with respect to trade secret also my dear friends in coming slides so with this uh, when you talk about other ipr we need to for the procedure formalities like filling up the form paying the prescribed fees and so on so in case my dear friends we need a better protection from infringement we should register our ipr otherwise the infringement cannot be legally combated so now the other type is your industrial or academia industrial property includes we have there on the on the screen itself like patent and trademark and so on till trade secrets i may talk about academia academy has copyrights which consist of literature dramatic artistic work but but copyright does not include any industrial process it only includes literature dramatic artistic work so that's a basic brief about ipr my dear friends so next thing we just before moving to the next slide we just have to have a small brief about this four words okay so that the next slide would be much more interesting much more effective my dear friends the first is act 
a, a, little, a little bit economics. A bill which has passed through various legislature steps required for it and which has become a law. So these are categorized as a primary step, my dear friends, and under IPR. And to follow it, we have rules. So these are categorized as a secondary step, which is followed by the act. So they are in place, my dear friends, they are in place to make the parent act effectively. So rule provides the details which are not been provided for in the act. But, but however, rules can by no means can go beyond the power conferred by the act or extend the same. It has to work within it. And the third one is amendment. So any changes and so on, so that, that is categorized in the amendment. And the fourth one, we have already discussed that is for term for protection. For example, if inventor Gaikwad, Muhammad Atik and inventor Varsha, if they are working on some product and if they get for grant, they will be getting a XYZ number of years, a protection for that particular product. So that is nothing but a term for protection that no one can use that innovation except they get a permission grant from inventor Gaikwad, inventor Muhammad Atik or inventor Varsha. So this is the way it works. Next thing. So let's have a look a few brief about the different types of IPR. Like we have heard about various types of IPR, like we have heard about patent, trademark, and copyright. If, if we have heard all about the nine types, so let's uh, have a short quick revision. There are nine different types of IPR, my dear friends. So let's we'll be focusing only on two columns as of now. Acts and rules is only for your reference. We have already discussed what is an act and what is a rule. Uh, we'll be focusing on what is the type of IPR and what is the term for protection for an IPR. The first one is patent, which like everyone knows about it in this chat room. So for a patent, if you get a patent grant for it, the term for protection is for 20 years. When you talk about trademark, the term for protection is for 10 years, but it is for an indefinite period. You can, you can keep renewing it after every 10 years. That is an advantage. Initially, you get for 10 years, but you can keep renewing it for, for after every 10 years. That is the beauty of it. The third category is your industrial design. So once it is granted, initially you get for 10 years, my dear friend, you can renew it to a maximum extension of more five years. So the total duration is for 15 years. So your question is, yes, in renewal, no. In patent, it is not possible. Tejasvi, thank you so much for being so interactive. Tejasvi Khanna, inventor Tejasvi Khanna, thank you so much. No, after 20, for example, inventor Khanna, you have your own uh, product, which has been patented, right? So once it completes the term for protection, it becomes open. It becomes off patent. You can say off patent, it becomes public, whatever word you want to say. Anyone can use it without the consent of the owner. That is the point in case of patent. Thank you so much, Khanna, for putting up such an amazing question. The fourth one. The fourth one is your copyright. When you talk about your copyright, the term for protection for copyright is the life of the author plus 60 years after his death. So that is the period that copyright content it is protected for the life of the author from where it is when it is published plus 60 years after his death. The fifth one is your geographical indication. So there will be a small question to this amazing audience. So if you observe the geographical indication, my dear friend, the term for protection is 10 years, but it can be renewed for a lifetime for an indefinite period, right? So this beautiful question for this amazing audience is over here is in previous slide, we have seen one of the type of IPR. Even that was having the similar term for protection as that of geographical indication. So which IPR was that? In the previous slide, we have seen uh, one of the type of IPR, which was having the similar term for protection. We can, you, can, uh, you can use the chat room very effectively. Amazing. Thank you so much, Inventor Sujata. Thank you so much, Inventor Karna. Yes, it was trademark. So the trademark and the geographical indication, the term for protection is com completely similar. That means you get it for 10 years and you can keep renewing it after every 10 years. Thank you so much, Inventor Sujata and Inventor Karna for being so, so active. The sixth one is your trade secrets. As it was discussed, there is no registration required in the previous slide we have discussed about, right? Because there is no act, no rules. If there is no act, no rules, it is completely to an individual how good he can keep the secret. That is the reason the term for protection is mentioned lifetime. So it is up to the individual how good he can keep the secret. We'll be seeing one of the best examples about trade secret when we'll be having that slide also. So next one is plant breeders, especially for the farmers, for the agriculturalists and so on. So there are two, it is divided into two categories. One is for the trees and vines. It is for the 25 years. 
and for any other plant it is for 20 years next one is a traditional knowledge again no act no rules again the term for production is for lifetime again a beautiful question goes amazing audience even the previous slide we have seen one of the type of ipr which was having a similar term for production as that of traditional knowledge in the previous slide we have seen one of the type of ipr sujata you have lightning fast <laughs> amazing so there was a one of the type of ipr which was similar to that of traditional knowledge so answer have been mentioned by inventor sujata that is a trade secret because there is no act no rules the term for production is for lifetime it is up to the individual the last one is your semiconductor integrated circuit layout design especially for anyone who is really interested into hardware electronics and so on so that that is for you the term for production is for 10 years after that it will become public you cannot renew it so that's a small small brief about all the nine different types about ipr my dear friends now you'll be thinking about you told us about the nine different types of ipr you told us about the name and so on the term for production but what is the objective about what is the objective of having an ipr the objective behind ipr the first the best point and the golden point is that is to give the recognition to the creator of the work for example, we have inventors, inventor Sujata, inventor Karna, inventor Varsha, inventor Mohammad Atik, inventor Gaikwad, right? If they all are working in on some product, right? So if they all are working for the, they are, they are putting, they are putting their hard, hard and money, but they, they are putting their time, everything, blood and sweat for a, for a product. And if they get an, if that is an innovative, that means they have to be recognized, right? So the recognition what they are getting is into is in the terms of term for protection. So no one can use that except except them so if, if anyone was, wants to use it they have to priority take the permission or they, they can go into various format either in format of royalty either they can purchase and so on there are n number of ways they can go for it so it's like the inventors are rewarded in such a way so that they can enjoy the monopoly and the economic benefits over his work so he can enjoy like the economic benefit by licensing or by selling his invention the other objective, my dear friend, is, is to attract the foreign investment. So someone like inventor Varsha said about the commercialization, right? So this is the point. So when you when you have a good innovation, so this plays a very, very important role. So the commercialization only happens, only happens when you have an amazing innovation where which is required by the industry, which is required by the uh, uh, the investors, angel investors, and so on. So there are two ways. Either they can purchase uh, inventor Varsha, if you have an amazing innovation. If, if you get a grant for it, there are two ways you can commercialize it, uh, a broader version. Either you can uh, give it for a royalty benefits, okay? Either you can take invest investment and grow further. The third case, you can have a TOT, that, that is transfer of technology. So if you feel, if you are running an industry, if you feel if you're running a startup, you have a technology which is beneficial to that, that party and that is party is having an technology which is really beneficial, uh, economically beneficial for your company. So you can have a TOT, that is transfer of technology. You can give your technology to them and you can take the technology without, without any trading. So that is that is the different, different ways you can enter into commercial agreements. So it depends upon business to business, what kind of requirement you possess at that particular time. Next thing, when you talk about, it is very, very important, my dear friends, to maintain a harmony in the people of different kinds of skill sets. Like innovation, every field is rewarded with the protection as the work of innovation in any field, my dear friends, is equally time consuming and laborious. So my dear friends, if the rights of the farmers or other artists will not be protected, then it might create a huge chaos. That is, a, that is the reason there are different, different segments of IPR, which is covering all the different fields of people under that segments. So that everyone is covered. Not only engineers and medical or so on, so a particular segment should be covered. Every from every people from every field should be protected under IPR, because every one requires a recognition. So that is the major uh, objective of having an IPR. Next thing, further, uh, we'll be discussing each and every IPR for a span of like a minute or so. Okay, so let's start with the first kind of IPR that is your patent. Okay, so patent, my dear friends is a grant like before going to before going to much further my dear friends will be having a will be using a chat room very quickly okay after we finish every every ipr one other kind of ipr 
we'll be having of one or two few questions on the chat or uh, this thing presentation itself so it will everything will be timed up you'll be having 12 to 15 seconds everything will be timed up after every 12 to 15 seconds the question will be changed you just have to answer the options what is the option a b c whatever you feel so and the right answer will also be displayed and will be moving further so everything will be timed up so that we can finish the webinar within that time slot okay so let's go with the first thing that is a patent patent is a grant of some exclusive privilege right or the authority you can say given by the government of the country to one or more individuals either it could be one inventor either it could be ten inventors for it for a limited period of time so when i say limited period of time can someone tell me what is a term for protection for patent i said for a limited period of time so can anyone answer me ki we have discussed already in the previous slides so what is a term for protection for patent how long will the patent be valid for a, for an inventor thank you so much inventor sujata thank you so much uh, sandhya thank you rajeshwini thank you thank you yes it is for 20 years and it will get uh, like after once it completes 20 years it will become public anyone can use it thank you so much surya singh thank you so much for making it so so interesting so inventor has a monopoly right for a particular period of time which you already have said it for 20 years either he can sell it import it or anything whatever he wish because he is been termed as a owner So, for example, in India, a patent is granted for twenty years. So, all these years, an inventor can rule over his invention and can use it in every possible way. Every possible way. So, for, when I say by using in every possible way, I mean he can license his invention to anyone, he can sell his invention to anyone, and so on. For example, like a very famous example, my dear friends, like we everyone knows about it, IBM license technology, right, to many dealers, and earn money from it. so basically like ibm earns royalty from its vendors so we can also take an example of uh, patent of apple new technology shake to charge and so on any other example like patent in med medicines like combiflem and so on so that's a small small brief about the patent my dear friends this will have a small some a short mcq question this is not to check your knowledge it's just to make it uh, make sure that there is something take away from this webinar that that is the only purpose of having this kind of mcqs over here everything is stand up so that they they won't be any waiting for anyone so whatever option you feel it you just mention the option question number 1 option a question number 2 option so everything will be timed up for maximum 12 to 15 seconds here is the first question for you so if all the inventors are requested if they can answer it it will be really be appreciated it is not a compulsory it is just just like if anyone if there will be more involvement there will be more learning simple as that Yes, thank you so much, Varsha. I'll be covering up Varsha in the second half, uh, which will be completely dedicated to the patent. Thank you so much for putting this amazing question. Thank you. Thank you so much, Varsha. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor Nalini. Thank you, Sujata. Thank you. The correct answers are. Thank you, Vinayathani. Thank you, Inventor Vinayathani. Yes. Thank you. B. Everyone was right. Thank you so much, Inventor Farooq. Thank you. Still, I'll be very short to you, uh, Varsha, for putting us such a nice question. I'll be very short, but we'll be having a detailed discussion in the coming patent when we when we'll be discussing the patent also in the second part. When you talk about utility, uh, Varsha, utility is all about the complete working and putting up the claims. And when you talk about the innovation or when you talk about design patent, it is all about look and feel, look and feel. That's it. It does not involve any process. It does not involve any industrial process. When you talk about innovation or slash design patent. but when you talk about utility patent it is all about the process all about the design all about the putting up the claims on what claims you are uh, you are want you want you want that patent for so that is a brief overview about both the categories varsha thank you so much inventor varsha for putting up a question if i have not satisfied you you can please put up a a, a thread of questions for it thank you so much for putting up an amazing question next thing is a trademark trademark enables a consumer to identify the product simple as that by a certain symbols so this will help them to distinguish the product and the service like for example if i see a, if 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 everyone uh, from education if, if everyone is into a teaching background if everyone is into education segment if they see a logo of uh, sharda uh, university everyone knows about it that this logo belongs to a service segment which is an educational institute 
So that is a that is a point where a trademark plays a very very important role. So you from the with with the respect to the logo, I did not even reading ki what uh, this company is about and so on. Looking at the logo, you are confident ki how it things really work out, right? Similarly, my dear friends, when you talk about like trademark helps to get a goodwill in the market, as you all know, like famous McDonald's in which you always see often a joker kept outside the store and the yellow color in which they write the McDonald's, right? So you can easily understand that this is McDonald's store and we'll get a good quality food over here. So this is how the trademark protects the goodwill and the quality. It also helps in terms of business, the consumer in identifying the trademark. Trademark can directly be appear on the product. For example, uh, been, been mentioned on the slide itself, the ringtone of so and so, and the punchline of Lay's, Pal Banana Magical, and so on. Also, there's a trademark, a very famous trademark known as Xerox. I'll tell you a small story about Xerox within 20 seconds. Like my dear friends, Xerox was registered as a trademark as known as Electrophotography Copying Machine and Apparatus for Fusing Powder Images as electrophotography copying machine and apparatus for fusing powder images in 1952. Just imagine. It was used widely in this kind of copying technology. It thus reached a point in 1970 that the trademark almost became generic. It was descriptive mark because many people, my dear friends, referred a photocopy as Xerox. So if you are looking for it, uh, a very good afternoon to inventor uh, Anusha, a very good afternoon for you, to you. So for example, when you talk about trademark, in trademark, there are 45 different classes, my dear friend, where you can register it. So if I divide all the 45 into two different segments, okay, so class, it was divided into basically two categories. One is the product category, one is a service segment, my dear friends, okay. For example, we have uh, inventor Anusha, okay. So inventor Anusha belongs to an uh, institute uh, from Tamil Nadu, okay. So for example, if her institute or her startup uh, having a logo, but that is not had, a, but that is not having a trademark, and that is into ed, ed tech startup or having an institutional background. Okay, so that comes under a service segment. Okay, so similarly, like uh, if we have inventor Varsha, who is into who is into good segment, so that comes under the goods category. So when you talk about the goods category, my dear friend, the goods category, the class range are class one to thirty five. So within that, depending upon the product, you can register your uh, trademark according to the class. And for the service segment, it is from class 36 to 45. So I discussed the trademark has 45 different classes. It is divided into two categories, class one to 35 for the good segment, class 36 to 45 for the service segment. So if, if, if you feel your institution is having an amazing logo and it has been recognized throughout the India, right? Or into your state, and it should have a trademark. If it is not, then you can register your institute trademark under the class 41. So class 41, especially for the educational institute, my dear friend. So if not, you can also take an initiative and you can go for it. And so with this, uh, we finish our trademark. Let's have a small uh, brief discussion about the trademark, a brief MCQ about trademark, a few of the example, famous examples of the logo, just for reference, which everyone knows about it, my dear friend. So with this, uh, we'll have a small MCQ based question for it. Uh, every question will be displayed for 15 seconds. So you just have to answer your question number and your answer, whichever you feel like. Either it could be wrong, right? There's no one like who is correcting you. We are just enjoying the session. We're just see seeing key what we have understood, what we have not. If you're not understood, it <laughs> that means I'm not explaining you properly. So it, everything, the blame goes to me. You are amazing. So let, let's let's be let's have an interactive session. The first question is in front of you for the trademark. What is the duration of trademark? Registration as defined by Trademark Act 1999. So you can just mention the question number and option. Thank you, Inventor Sujata, for being so sporty. Thank you, uh, Inventor Suraj, Inventor Farooq, Inventor Vinutani, Inventor Khanna. Thank you, thank you. And the correct answers are Inventor Chuta and in, Inventor Singh. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. In fact, we had only one question for Trademark. Thank you so much for being so, so sporty. The next one is your industrial design. So that was one of the questions where uh, inventor Varsha had, had put it up. So innovation slash design. So we'll be good. We'll be discussing into much more detail. Thank you, inventor Ritu, inventor Kulkarni, inventor Hivza. Thank you so much for being so sporty. The next one is your industrial design. So industrial design protects the distinctive appearance of the product. So these right is only concerned with the look of an article. 
but not as how they function so you can take many real life examples like the shape of a sports bike you like irrespective of what engine it is having it we are only concerned with the design so anyone over here who is really really passionate about designs making an innovative products with different different designs trust me this is for you you need to start for it it is not ki you only have one option that is patent no there have n number of various option you can go for it if if you you don't have the passion of uh, evolving with the process but you have a passion of design then this is for you my dear colleagues so if you talk about the sports bike like we were talking about the floral design of bed sheet handicraft manufactured products design of gold and diamond jewelries etc etc so on so when you talk about industrial design my dear friends yes yes with well, yes yes if you, if uh, you have n number of like uh, inventor uh, what are the inventor over your replied furniture yes you have n number of furnitures having different different multiple folds like you can make it sofa you can make it bed you can make it a chair and so on yes it can be done yes inventor uh, inventor uh, like you are yes yes it will be done it will be sent to uh, dr vishal sir yes it will be shared to everyone don't worry sir the ppt will be shared so when you talk about the industrial design so there are two categories my dear friends one is the two dimensional one it could be a three dimensional so you have both the categories available for it okay when you talk about two dimensional it could be like ornamentation colors the color combination of chocolate wrappers and so on and when you talk about three dimension it could be any shape of a car if someone might be questioning what if 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 a person want to apply for both the categories a three dimensional as well two dimensional can he apply yes he can for example if if you are talking about a volks uh, ele- a volkswagen car having an elegant shape and an amazing color right a unique color he can apply for both the category three dimensional as well as for two dimensional okay so it that is available for both the categories because like my dear friends in talk about industrial design the industrial design adds a commercial value for the product the design makes the product good looking and attractive so a good looking finished product must be appealing for the consumer so that he prefers buying that over a boring design we never buy a cell phone my dear friends we never buy a cell phone that has all the features right but the design is not good looking right we never buy it we see the features as well as the design so that is the way industrial design plays a so so important role in the consumer market it plays a very very important role so industrial designs are very very important for the looks factor for the product so it is very important my dear friends as an inventor to enhance the design of your product okay so with this with this we'll have a small mcq small mcq questions for the industrial design let's go further so we have two questions over here for industrial design 15 second each that's it so you'll be answering that within the time frame with with it and if you have any question in between you have the right uh, and i'll request you to put put your queries into the chat room i'll make sure it is covered during the webinar itself within the webinar we'll clear all the queries all the queries whatever you'll be having it so it will really help you that's the first question to you that's the first question to the amazing inventors we have in the chat room so question number one thank you so much thank you vinitha and uh, inventor suraj inventor khanna singing inventor varsha thank you so much for being so active thank you so much inventor kulkarni thank you that's the second question for everyone inventor rahel thank you inventor hefza inventor mohammad farooq inventor singh thank you so much the second question was a tricky question it doesn't depend on the commercial value it doesn't depend on the commercial value yes the first question yes feature of shape configuration pattern everything was fantastic but the second question the design it doesn't depend on the commercial value it is fixed either your design can value 1 million dollar either your design can uh, value 10 dollars it is fixed it is for 10 years after that it will become public thank you so much inventor sujatha thank you so much dipali joshi for being such an active participant so next one is we'll be discussing about the copyright so like uh, everyone loves music right so everyone loves to listen to fm every day everyone hears songs of arijit singh sonu nigam rahul vaidya ar rahman and so on all the singers my dear friends have their copyright for a piece of work done by them then the broadcasting right are also given to this broad fm broadcasting organization so copyright is concerned with the protect of original literature and artistic work copyright act my dear friends was formed in in gen in 1957 but the act 
came into effect in January 1958. It was formed in 1957, my dear friends. But it, the act came into effect from January 1958 in India. We can take examples of copyright that is like the right of a performer. We can we can talk about the famous actor Amitabh Bachchan ji, right? Has a right to control his performance given by him in any stage show. Then the right of broadcasting. Uh, his uh, organization here we talk about FM and so on, FM Gold, Red FM and so on, different different uh, media channels also. So they have the right for broadcasting and rebroadcasting of the program. So, for example, uh, about the song, we, if we talk about songs, MFS and painting and so on. Like copyright, my dear friends, is often called as bundle of rights. Uh, you might be questioning, oh wow, why it is called bundle of rights? The reason goes like this. The name is given since it may, its main work, my dear friends, is to protect the unauthorized use, but on the same version, also add several other rights to the list of the owner. So another, like another, we talk about the right of reproduction in various forms, such as the printed publication, the sound recording, converting it through one language to another language. If you talk about three years or many, the, there are many examples in films. So that has been converted to various languages, right? So that everything that comes under uh, this thing, copyright, my dear friends. That is the reason. So like apart from copywriting it, uh, it can, it can help in various other parameters. That is the reason it is normally termed as a bundle of rights, my dear friends. Over with this, uh, having a small overview of copyright, we'll go to a small MCQ based questions for copyright itself. Copyright, yes, inventor Suraj. You can, as of now in India, you cannot patent a software, but you can copyright a software. Yes, Suraj. Thank you so much for putting up this amazing question. Thank you so much, inventor Suraj. So here's the first question. A little tricky one. Best of luck. A little trickier one to all the respected inventors we have in the chat room. Thank you, inventor uh, Shweta, inventor Rahel, inventor Singh. Thank you, Vinodhani. Thank you so much. Question number two. Thank you so much, Ashish, inventor Ashish, inventor Dipali, inventor Neha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being so active. Thank you. Yes, Inventor Ashis, I've already declared it. Yes, obviously. <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. Inventor Muhammad, Inventor Hevza, thank you so much. So, before, before discussing this geographical indication, I would be, I, uh, Thank you so much, Inventor Amit. I would be needing help of all the inventors, amazing inventors over here in the chat room. If you can tell us, if, if you can help me in telling two things uh, from your end, uh, a sincere request to all the inventors. One is uh, your native place. Okay. Second, B part, uh, what, which is a product which is really, very really famous from a native place. Mention a native place and mention which is a product which is really famous. Either it could be a fruit, either it could be a handicraft, it can be anything, any product. Okay. Your native place and your uh, any product which is really, really famous from your native place. Trust me, it will really help us to understand geographical indication in a much, much better version because everyone can contribute. Every, uh, all the contribution could really help all the inventors to understand this topic. Okay. Thank you so much. We all, we have already got answers. So I'll, I'll discuss further on the geographical indication by the time we'll receive answers. So when you talk about GI, my dear friends, geographical indication, basically it is a tag. Notice stating that the given product originates in a given geographical area. Or the product is manufactured in a given geographical area. So when you talk, when you talk about having a tag, okay. <laughs> uh, <sheesh. laughs> so when you talk about tags, it is given to the product for three things. One is for the quality, one is for the characteristics, and one is for the reputation. So these features can be found if the same product is manufactured or grown at some other place. Very difficult. These red is applicable for manufactured or originated goods. These characteristics, or you can say the quality, may be due to the major factors like natural factors, or it could be the method of manufacturing in that particular area, my dear friends. Now the natural factors could be like soil, it could be the regional climate, it could be temperature, it could be moisture, and so on. 
For example, if we talk about fruits, if we talk about orange speci uh, specifically, so in Maharashtra, there is, a, there, is, there is a district known as Nagpur. So Nagpur oranges are very, very famous. So Nagpur oranges always have a very higher margin or higher price into the market itself if uh, compared to the other oranges which are produced in any, any other region. So that is a tag which Nagpur oranges have bought it. So whenever you are putting it, by sending this food to so any other country, so Nagpur oranges will always, always yield a better, a better market valuation as compared to the oranges which are yielding at any other place. So that is an advantage having a geographical tag. The method of manufacturing can include the specialization in the product, or we can say the, the preparation of Tripati Laddu. The geographical location promotes goods, or you can say the producers of a particular area, so that the consumer will be sure about the quality of the originated, or we can say the manufactured product. And if someone, uh, for example, if you're talking about, if, uh, if someone has said about Rigel Alfonso Mango, yes, very true. For example, if there is a vendor uh, who is selling a mango by saying it, yes, this mango is an Alfonso mango, it belongs to Raigarh, okay? Because Raigarh mango has a very, very good high valuation in the market. Because over here, if, if we get a mango for almost like uh, 18 rupees or 17 rupees for each mango, or approximately, if depending on the weight and depending on the, uh, or 20 rupees, so same mango, if it, it goes to UK, it goes to US, we get for almost like $1.2, right? So that is, that is a margin, that is a difference in amount. When you, when you put some products, when you, when you have a high valuation for mangoes. So if a person who doesn't, does not belong to Raigad, okay, but is still selling a mango in the name of, yes, it, be, it belongs to Alfonso, it, is, it belongs to Raigad and so on. So that is wrong, right? So in that case, if someone is infringing the rights of some other people, of, in fact, other people, that means the people from Raigad, the farmers from Raigad. So in that case, there are two people who can take a serious action against those people. It, no, it is not the government, my dear friends. At the initial stage, there are two people. One is the registered proprietor and the second one is the authorized user. The registered proprietor and the authorized user have the right to take the action against them and then, then the government will play an important role after that. But initially, it is not the government. It is the registered proprietor and the authorized user who can take the action against these people. So thank you so much for putting such an amazing uh, answers in the chat room, which really make the geographical indication much more uh, interactive. Thank you so much. With this, uh, We'll be moving further. We'll be having a chart. We'll be having a chart where the states are mentioned. Authorized user has been the person who is authorized by the government to sell that product. So every farmer is registered, right? Whenever in that particular area, he's registered if he's doing an import or he's sending that uh, product to any other state or any other country. So he's registered. So he has a right to question it that, that this person is infringing his right. So this mango belongs to this place. He is not growing that mango in uh, Raigarh district by selling the mango by saying that that product belongs to Raigarh. So that is an authorized user uh, inventor Khanna. So when you, this is a very old chart just for references, the number of states and the GR tax which have registered until April 2017 and so on. So tax plays a very, very important role. For example, if if someone wants to deal into glass, right? If, if, uh, if, there's, a, if there's a company, uh, who, who want to have a trade. For example, if a company in Singapore wants to have a trade in glass, so they would uh, really prefer ki which state has having a, which state is really specialized into glass business or which state is really specialized into having a good manufacturing union into glass. So they would uh, really prefer Uttar Pradesh in that, right? Similarly for a tea, if someone wants to really import a tea or in, into any other country, they would prefer ki which, where's the tea tax uh, in India, right? So they would put down the state. So it's following two or three states that are like, they, they have a good tax for tea production. So they would prefer that. So your tax plays a very, very important role over here. So with this geographical indication, my difference will go with the small MCQ based question for it. No, 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 no inventor probably. No idea cannot be, idea can't be. Here we go, three, two, one. That's the first question over here. But if it is supported by some legal documents, uh, Praveen, then it can be. But only mentioning an idea, do you, you think so and so can happen? No, it doesn't work in that way. Thank you so much, Inventor Amit, Inventor Sujata, Inventor uh, Johnny, in, Inventor Malia, Invent, Moh, Inventor Mohammed, Inventor Asha, Inventor Neha, Inventor Rahel. That's the second question for everyone. Thank you so much.
thank you so much yes yes thank you so much thank you so much kanna no that's not e yes thank you thank you thank you that's the right answer yes d for the first question yes it is authorized the register proprietor and the authorized user So with this, uh, we come to our trade secrets. Very very simple thing. Uh, there there are there are something like which you don't want to share, which you're still afraid. Like even if it gets copyrighted, it 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 can be stolen by some companies and so on. Like basically, this is an information, my dear friends, that you do not want the competitor to know about. For example, over here we have inventor Ashish and inventor Neha, right? So for example, uh, inventor Neha and inventor Ashish is ah uh, uh, they have uh, they have. Created a recipe and so on, or a certain drink. Okay, let's take a drink example because we have a drink example in the next slide itself. Okay, so they have a drink uh, very similar to Coca Cola and so on. Okay, and that has a good. They feel that it has a good market valuation and so on. So they feel that if funds, if it gets uh, the recipe gets uh, copyright. Okay, so but obviously it will be open to public. Okay, uh, the condition is, is that that they should not use it. Unless and until they they get the approval from inventor Neha and inventor Ashish, okay, that is the norm, right? They should not use it unless and until if they get approval from inventor Ashish and inventor Neha. But if still if the people use it, it is very difficult for inventor Ashish and Neha to tap every person in different different states to like to stop them to avoid using that. So what they do it, they don't register it under IPR, okay? They don't do it and they keep it secret to themselves. So as long as they can keep the secret with themselves, they can have a good market uh, market monopoly in that marketplace. They can really have a good commercialization, good uh, profit margin. Because once it is shared, people can uh, people can make copy of it and so on. So they will more lose the market valuation, the market value. So it can either it could be a business related stuff, either it could be a technical related stuff. So it depends from person to person or business to business. So that is the meaning of trade secrets, my dear friend. I'll take a famous example. The famous example is Coca Cola. Like the secret has been kept for very close to one fifty years. It's been kept in Bla Bank of Alta Atlanta. So that is the way it works, my dear friends. So if it depends from business to business, so it is up to the inventors. So in this case, it was up to inventor Neha, inventor Ashish. The do they want to register or not? If they feel, you know, they can keep it secret to themselves as long as they can, and they are very confident, then they should go for this. Simple as that. So a small one question for our trade secret. That's it. A fifteen seconds. So you'll be having fifteen seconds to answer into the chat room itself. Here we go. But next thing we'll be do, going going for the for the traditional knowledge more more two or three. That's it. That will be the first part of the webinar. Here we go for it. Request for the all the inventors uh, to try this question. One of the most trickiest question for this webinar, and at, at least in the first half. Second half, you won't be having any questions. Much for much questions for it. But well, the most trickiest question for this webinar, I'll give you a hint. The hint is not valid. The hint is not valid. Thank you so much, Inventor Amit. The hint is not valid. I'll just display the question one more time. The hint is not valid. Thank you, Inventor Kanna. Thank you, Inventor Rahel. Thank you for putting up the for putting up the answer. I'll explain you. The hint is not valid. Focus on the word "not valid." You'll get the answer. Thank you, Inventor Neha. Thank you, Inventor Muhammad. Thank you, Inventor Sanjay. Thank you. So the correct answer is, <laughs> thank you so much for all the inventors. Thank you so much. I res respect it. So the uh, answer is the confidential information is a property. My dear friends, you can call something as a property only when it is registered under IPR. If it is not registered under IPR, you cannot term it as a property. The other points over there, like D, C, and D, were all valid, valid points. The first one was not valid when you talk about trade secrets, because we have already seen in the previous slide, my dear colleagues, that trade secrets does not have any act, no rules. That is the reason the term for protection was for lifetime. So if it is not cannot register, it cannot be officially called as a property. Other points were all valid. I'll be sharing this PPT also, so don't worry about it. The next one is your traditional knowledge. Again, like uh, uh, I won't say much about it. We can again we can use a chat room. 
there there won't be any explanation for this because very very simple so you can use the chat room like anything any 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 traditional thing you have got from your grandparents or whenever you visited your native place theek hai you you got hurt or something they they, they told you hey don't apply this cream apply this stuff this is nice this is uh, this is <laughs> this is natural don't don't use that medicinal stuff and so on like anything either it could either it could be a health either it could be uh, you are suffering from some some x y z disease and so on so you might have got something uh, inputs from your grandparents from the pe- from the elders from a native place so that is something covered under traditional knowledge i'll give you a small uh, a small overview about this the knowledge gained and the use by the, over here is like is gained and used by the people over generations the type of ipr like is to give given to knowledge that is common in a particular community like something would be common in a particular community in kerala something would be common in a particular community in karnataka and so on in some district or something would be common into jammu kashmir something would be very common to uh, assam and so on so like the knowledge of a turmeric or we can say the use of turmeric for wounds etc so on then this knowledge is carried from one generation to another my dear friend knowledge is very difficult to preserve in this form of proof we all know that india has a rich rich traditional knowledge that is passed verbally to one another for that indian government my dear friends have taken an initiative for developing the tkdl website tkdl is traditional knowledge digital library so whenever you get time you can view the website my dear friends this project my dear friends was initiated in 2001 so this is tkdl is a collaborative project just for your knowledge of council of scientific and industrial research that is csir along with the ministry of science and technology with ministry of health and family affairs and this project is implemented at csir now few examples like if you want if i want to portray something about traditional knowledge it could be use of tulsi neem tree turmeric and india and so on the ayurvedic medicines it could it could be use of aloe vera or in removing pimples right we have we have got all this knowledge from our elders my dear friend everyone might have got it in in the chat room who are there with us so whenever if you get a time to visit from a busy schedule if you want to visit tkdl website you will observe at tkdl website the major content is divided into following domains one of the domain is agriculture fisheries health horticulture and forestry so these are the major five domains agriculture fisheries health horticulture and forestry if anyone wants to contribute work something with that they can surely should visit tkdl website and see in what way they can contribute to this uh, the in the project initiated by csir next is a plan breeders like as we know like india uh we are rich in agriculture and so on the farmers are really working really really hard in in producing new new varieties of plants so that is the reason my dear friends we have to take care we have to protect the different different kinds of plant varieties which have been which have been really worked out which have been really uh, uh produced in india which have been really been very really effective uh so we have to protect that right that's that's the way ipr really works ipr cannot be confined to one single expertise it have to it ha- it has to cover all the people from all the different different kinds of field so one is one is this agriculture and farmers field right so this is especially for for those people who are into agriculture who are into farming who are into innovation of new new varieties of crop plants and so on so that they can yield a uh, much uh much higher in quantity and with a lower lower time rate so they can increase the profit margin of the farmers so also plant breeders right my dear friends uh, it is also term as the production of plant varieties and farmers right act plant breeders right it officially the name is the production of plant varieties and farmers right act uh, it was this act came into effect from 2001 my dear friend so just a small brief about plant breeders right my dear friend So here we go with a small MCQ based question with for plant breeders, right? So this is the second last type. What we'll be having it next? The last will be semiconductor integrated circuit layout designs. So that will be the last ninth uh, type of IPR. So with this, we'll complete our first session of our today's webinar. With the with the involvement of yours, it was extremely extremely. You made the session really interesting. That's the first question to you, my dear friend. I cannot say tricky here, but uh just read the question very very carefully my dear colleagues all the inventors the question is for you let's go for it 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Elmendra Singh, for being so sporty and so fast. Quick. So, question number two. Question number two. Thank you so much, Mohammad Farooq. Thank you, Elmendra Farooq. Thank you, Elmendra Khanna. Elmendra Hevza. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Elmendra Sujata. Yes. Thank you so much, Sujata, for being so fast. So fast, you have been you have been very supportive from the start of the webinar. Thank you, Inventor Sujata. Thank you, Inventor Deepika. Thank you. Thank you, Inventor Deepa. Thank you, Inventor Deepali. Thank you. Thank you. So the last one is your semiconductor circuit integrated layout designs. So when we talk about this thing, uh, my dear friends, the creation of a circuit. And its layout design has been given a separate category of protection under IPR, as you can see. As smaller the size of the integrated circuit, lesser the material used or needed for its construction, and smaller the space needed to accommodate it. So this condition, my dear friends, is not easy. It requires lots of efforts, your time, blood, everything, right? By by the technical people like us who are there into this webinar, who are there as an inventor, right, with us. And has the protection of this effort has become important? It provides a protection for semiconductor integrated circuit and layout of the circuits. It plays a significant role, my dear friends, in the advancement of technologies, especially for electronics and information technologies, my dear friends. Integrated circuits are used in all data processing equipment like mobile phones, laptop, watches, radios, washing machine, and so on. We all know that, right? Semiconductor integrated circuit are often called as Microchip or it can also be termed as chip. It can function as a timer, counter, microprocessor, and so on. It can be a digital or analog. Integrated circuit layout designs refers to the 3D characteristics of element and the interconnection of integrated circuits. So if I if you say take an example, the example would be a layout of transistors and or any other circuits. Simple as that. So that's a small brief about semiconductor integrated circuits. So that's a small overview about. All the nine different types of IPR. Thank you so much for being with us. It's 3.02. We are very, very sharp on finishing this first part within 60 minutes. Thank you so much for being there with us. We can have a short break of, like it's almost 3.03. We can have a small small break of five minutes and then we'll be focusing on the following parameters. Okay. And so that we'll be focusing only on one type of IPR. We have discussed nine different types of IPR, my, dear, my colleagues, right? So we'll be discussing only on one type of IPR. That is... Uh, patent. So only one type of IPR that is patent. Complete forty-five minutes. Uh, you'll be you'll be going to the complete journey of patent. So you can have a a short break of five minutes. You can uh drink tea, water, anything. And thank you so much for being being with us. Uh, for so patiently and so active. All yours. I'll be there over here. If you have any queries, you can put down the the chat room. I won't be going anywhere. People should take a break because sixty minutes was a huge session. Huge time. Thank you so much. If you want to know anything about patent, who are, whoever is there with us right now, anything about patent, you want that that point should be covered into the coming next second half, especially about patent, you can just mention into the chat room. I'll make sure with the flow of the webinar, I'll cover up that point. Instead of covering all the questions at the end, we'll cover up during the webinar itself. They can use the chat room very effectively as said by Dr. Arun sir. Inventor Asha, there are two different points. Like if you talk about idea, like idea is a very, very broader domain. No one will invest it unless and until it has been worked out something. No one will invest into idea. They will invest in something like it has been, it should have some, some working towards it. It should have some USP. It should have some comparison. It should have some uniqueness for it. Consider you being an inventor over here 
and me and uh, Dr. Arun is into one team. Okay, he's my mentor. I'm working with him. Okay, we are into it, and we only propose an idea to to you. Okay, so for example, only I propose an only idea to you. Dr. Arun has said me, Awab, don't propose an idea. Propose a working for it. Okay, how that idea will be working? How that idea will be executed, and so on. So if we talk about in that in that perspective, if I only propose an idea, you won't be interested. There have to be some working. There have to be some comparison for it. Consider as a small startup company. Don't consider an idea. Whenever if anyone will only invest if they see a profit, they will only see a profit when you show a comparison, when you show the loophole, when you show a problem. Ki what problem are you solving with that idea? So putting only up an idea without supporting documents, it won't help you in any way. In Mandrasha, thank you so much for putting up a question. Yes, uh, Inventor Aarti, thank you so much for putting up a question. Uh, yes, there is a scheme by government. I will be, uh, uh, Dr. Vishal sir will be sharing that link also. Uh, the link where all the documents has been mentioned, what kind of support you'll be getting from government of India. There was a three year support, which was initiated under Startup India. It was from 2017 to 2022. Again, recently they have been, they have revised it again. For It has, it has been extended for more three years. That again, you'll be getting more three years support from government of India. But the point is that uh, in winter Aarti, that the support, the cost is very low. The cost is like, it is hardly like uh, 20,000 rupees. So that cost does not include the professional charges, which you will be hiring it. Suppose like Aarti, you are fantastic into your domain, whichever domain you have. I don't know which domain you have an expertise in mentor Aarti. You have a fantastic knowledge about it. Okay. But the point is that but you need someone you don't have a knowledge about drafting and document for a patent. So drafting a document and writing a research paper is very different, Aarti. Very, very different. Very different. It plays a very, very different role. So if you don't have that kind of knowledge, you'll be hiring some uh, a patent attorney or patent agent or patent analyst like me, right? In that case. So they will be charging you. Attorney will be charging a very higher buyer term in that case. So that they don't include that charges. But on the contrary, they have made a panel of people, panel of patent agents, panel of patent advocates under government of India who should help you officially without any, without any penny, without taking any penny. So that link has been shared with uh, Dr. Vishal sir. He'll be sharing you that as well over here. Don't worry about it. So with that link, you can get all the informations and the pros and cons, the eligibility criteria, everything. And still, if you face any difficulties, I'll be sharing my mail ID also. Uh, I'll, I'll help you in whatever way possible. If you need an agent, then you have to bear that cost. But they have also provided the supporting staff also. They have registered few of the patent agents, few of the advocates under that scheme who should help you without taking any charges. So that is also there on the website. Yes, yes, Nadim. Yes, it is there. The difference between Indian patent, uh, inventor Anu Suya, right? Inventor Anu Suya, have a question. What is the difference between the Indian and Australian patent? Uh, my dear inventor, there are two categories. Again, in India, Indian patent. One is known as a patent utility. That is where you the design is involved, process is involved. You have to put down your claims on what claims you want this patent. You have to put down your claims. Apart from mentioning all the process, all the innovation, all the technologies, everything, you have to mention ki, what are the claims you want a patent for. Either it could be one, either it could be 10. Choice is yours. But minimum one claim is required. When you talk about Indian patent design, in that case, only the look and feel. Top view, left side view, right side view, bottom view, and so on. There are seven views we have to mention for it. That is only required, and you get a patent. When you talk about Australian patent, innovation patent, in that case, like Indian design patent, there is no examination. Either they will reject, they will accept. And there is a very few prob uh, probability that they will generate a queries and so on. But in, when you talk about Indian utility patent, so that is a much higher version. Why? Because there is an examination involved over here. Over here, oh, you have to face the examination, you have to face a controller, you have to face the expert committee and so on. Then you get a patent grant. But in Australian innovation patent, 
there is no examination involved either you clear it either it is dropped you don't clear it there is no examination involved whatever you propose it either they will accept it either they will, re they will reject it. so that is the difference So it's three ten. I think uh, we can resume it uh, with the permission of Dr. Arun sir uh, over here. Uh, the next agenda, my dear friends. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you so much, sir. So the next uh, agenda over here. Uh, if you feel can, any latency during the webinar, I'll just switch off my video. If you feel there is no latency, uh, my dear colleagues, then let me know. Okay, I'll just continue. I'll just keep on my camera. If 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 and if you feel that there is any latency, just update me in the chat room. I'll just switch off my camera. The next agenda would be like patent. Uh, we'll be discussing about the who are the people involved into the patent office. Let's not only talk about patent, patent, patent. Let's also talk about in and out everything. Where are the offices? What are the type? What are the filing forms? For example, either we can file only offline, either online. Where are the offices? People from which state can file where? What are the filing fees? What are the forms required? What are the forms name? Who are the people involved in the patent office? What are the roles and responsibility of them? And if you get a patent, for example, how how well we can utilize it? For example, inventor Varsha has a question: ki how we how we can use it commercially? What are the different different options where you can use it? So that we'll be discussing further for it. What are the different roles you can assign to someone? So let's go. Let's go further. Yes, inventor Ashish. Yes, you can. You can sell as well as you can transfer. It. We'll be discussing that in the coming first or second slide itself. Thank you so much for putting out such an amazing question. Thank you so much, Inver Rajesh. Inventor Anusha, the best way to predict the future is invent it. So let's have a journey of inventing for coming forty minutes. So we will we'll finish within the time frame. We won't exceed beyond four o'clock. So, few of the uh, question was which was asked by inventor Ashish and inventor Varsha. So, let's discuss few of the points. So, one thing, for example, like uh, inventor Anush Suya said, ki, yes, they have uh, filed a patent and it was published, and the, soon they he'll be receiving they will be receiving the grant as well. So, that inventor, inventor Anusha, will be termed as a patentee, so owner of a patent, only one once it is granted. The steps are: you apply for a patent, you get published. And next is you face the examination. The last step is you get the grant. So that's our broader steps. Okay, we'll be having a look in much into detail also, okay, how it is processed under Indian government. So once it becomes a patentee, so for example, over here we have inventor Ashish and inventor Varsha. They had a question about selling and commercialization. So let's assume the, they are the owners. Okay, they have a patent name ABC. So inventor Ashish, inventor Varsha is the owner of ABC patent. So near they have got the grant. So now both of them. Are called as a patentee. So patentee Ashish, patentee Varsha. In that case, now it is their choice how to use it because they are the owner, right? So if you are the owner of your house, house it is your choice whom you want to allow that he can stay, he cannot stay. Simple as that. Similarly, it works with the patent, right? So next thing is that, so they have two options, major options. One is to give license. One is to give an assignment. So let's see the difference between both. Inventor Ashish and Inventor Varsha feels that their innovation has a tremendous potential. Tremendous potential. They feel that they can easily earn the grant is for twenty years for patent. They can easily earn for minimum for fifteen years minimum. They feel it is extreme potential. So what they will do? They will see who who are the people approaching them. So there will be ten companies approaching them. So they 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 think you know let's let's give it to only five let's select five let's give it to five so they have selected five vendors from each state and they have given the license to their for their invention innovation to them in that particular state so their territory is their only state no one can else can do that simple as that so giving the license to them it could be for a period of three years four years five years it depends ki inventor Varsha inventor Ashish how they want to go for it because they are the owner right. So in that case, it works like if they are going for only for three four years, that means they'll be getting for three four years they'll be getting the royalty. So choices Ashis and Varshas if they want to go for a three four years plan or ten years plan, they felt you know let's see how three four works it really works 
and then if you want to increase the valuation they, we, we can have an option to increase the valuation also so that is an advantage of going for a license once they finish the contract they can give to someone else also simple as that because they feel that the potential is very huge he can they can easily and for 15 years on the contrary if varsha and ashish if they sorry i am calling with by the first name i don't know how you are elder to me sorry for it if varsha and ashish feels ki no our innovation we got a patent with a hard work with our efforts everything by grace of god we got a patent but they felt ki no it it does not have any commercial potential after 5 years it is very risky or 3 years it is very risky it is very risky to give a license because if we give a license our 5 years target will also come down 2 years because it will go, it will go public right it will go public so varsha and ashish feel ki no let's find someone who can purchase a patent who can purchase a patent so this is the way it works my dear friend the scenario one was different scenario two is different so in that case they find a owner for example dr arun and uh, dr vishal they go and pitch pitch them pitch the idea to them vishal and varsha they go and pitch the idea dr arun and dr uh, vishal and they, if they like it so they will put an offer and they will negotiate and they will give their patent right to dr arun and dr vishal so in that case dr arun and dr vishal will become an assignee assignee is something like a new owner they are not patentee patentee was different right now they will become assignee dr arun and varsha because they have become a new owner the complete rights have been transferred to dr arun and dr vishal so this is the way you work you have to be very smart enough to see what is the market potential if you want to go for commercialization so this is a broader to domain where you can officially analyze how you can you can use your patent okay ab which one is all are equally weighted which one is very it depend upon your product and the market requirement no one can tell you ki which is much better licensee is better or assignee is better it depends upon your market valuation it depends upon the market requirement it depends upon your product all these three things plays a very very important role saying me saying it ki no you go for licensee you go for assignee it is it doesn't work in that way that is completely wrong next is next is that two different under license there are two different categories one is exclusive one is non exclusive let's take an example for it for it okay one is one example like again the team is same over here for this slide we have only two inventors we have inventor varsha inventor ashish with us they have a product patent product known as abc for example during the covid situation they were very successful in making a covid testing kit at that time the covid testing kit was almost almost for very close to 4500 rupees varsha and ashish felt ki no this is wrong looking at the country like india 4500 rupees is not justified we have to break down the price so they were very serious they were working really hard and by grace of god they were successful in making a testing kit which was very close to 400 rupees now they have two options two options okay one is to go for exclusive license one is to go for the non exclusive license only i'll explain you what is exclusive what is non exclusive now all the inventors over here you tell me what should ashish and varsha do ashish and varsha should not reply other inventors should tell me ki what they should do okay i'll explain you what is exclusive what is non exclusive now you should tell me what they should follow they should go for exclusive license or they should go for non exclusive exclusive means ashish and varsha will be selecting only one manufacturer in india who can manufacture the products who can manufacture the products no one else can manufacture that is not an exclusive license that is scenario a scenario b ashish and varsha will be selecting nine different manufacturers in nine different states nine different manufacturers in nine different states okay you tell me which is better according to you let's let's not uh, let's not tell ashish and varsha to comment you all the inventors over here you tell me they should go for scenario a or scenario b we have already got answer from inventor asha inventor shika gupta okay okay 
Okay, thank you, thank you, Mr. Ashad. Uh, the reason why you felt so that they should go for non-exclusive. Can you mention that? Mention that as well. Why you feel so? We have uh, a different answer from Inventor Khanna. There is nothing wrong and right in this, huh? Nothing wrong and right in this. This is completely different, different perspective. Okay. Why you feel that they should go for exclusive? Why you feel they should not go for non-exclusive? Which is right. Give a reason to it also, if it is possible. So we got for answer from inventor Sujata, inventor Shika. Okay, amazing, amazing. Okay, for better commercialization. Okay, so inventor Khanna, you feel the profit margin in exclusive would be more than non-exclusive? That is what you want to say. Inventor Khanna. Okay, amazing. So, so that means you feel. In exclusive, you are giving rights to only one manufacturer. In non-exclusive, you are giving manuf manufacturing rights to nine different manufacturers. So, in which case the product will be more manufactured? Inventor Karna. In which case the products will be more manufactured? In exclusive or non-exclusive? Anyone can answer it, including Inventor Karna. Nine, but obvious. If the manufacturing in, uh, in non-exclusive is more. That means where, where is the profit margin higher as well? In exclusive or non-exclusive? Exactly. So this is completely looking at your product, looking at the market scenario and everything. Now you tell me, will COVID testing kit required for three, four years? Or it is only required for this coming, coming current year itself? That's it. The COVID testing kit will be required for only hardly for 12 to 18 months, right? That's it. Will it be required for a longer period? Even if they got a patent for it, can they earn for 20 years in this scenario? Inventor Ashish and Inventor Varsha, can they earn for 20 years? No. You know that. The product requirement would be hardly for two years or two and a half years. That's it. Right? Maximum it won't be there because even if they exceed it, they would be replaced by anyone else. So looking at the scenario, you have to get for judgment key. If I go for exclusive, the production would be very low, but obviously the margin would also be very low because they know that in exclusive license, you should only go for when you are afraid of it, your design can be lost by someone. If you're very afraid of your getting your, like your, your design should not be robbed or something. Only in that case, you should go for exclusive. Neither, if you're talking about profit margins, you will always go for non-exclusive. But the, on the contrary, the disadvantage is that, my dear friends. For example, if you don't want your design to be robbed, right? If your design is leaked in non-exclusive license, it is very difficult for you to tap on which manufacturer has done it among online. But on the same part, if it is leaked, in case of exclusive license, you are very clear who is responsible for it. That's it. In exclusive, even he'll be very, 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 very careful because if he loses the design, even though he will also lose the commercial benefit, right? Along with you. When non-exclusive, the market is very open. It is a little riskier. So it will depend upon your business, the market requirement, and your product. So depending on that, you have to take all these calls, my dear friends. This is just a small brief about how things will exactly work. Inventor uh, Anusuya, if the same problem, everyone is facing it, if they can reply. X1. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for answering it. So let's see how, who are the people involved into the patent office and few of the important things into patent office. Okay. Next thing. Uh, sorry, there are no questions into the second phase. Second phase is something like you, like more content oriented stuff. The second part. So I, 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 I'll, I'll try my best to not to bore you by taking a few examples, but sorry for it. There'll be any, no questions for it. Like, uh, one is a patent office. My dear friends, if you want to go, if, it, if you want to file a patent off, uh, offline, there are four patent offices. One is for North, one is for East, one is for West, one is for South. We'll be seeing the patent office and we'll also see the who are the states 
which are eligible for that particular office. Okay, states and union territories also in in the coming slides. So basically, if as of now, there are four print office, but it is not necessary to go and file offline. You can also file online. Simple as that. It is completely your choice. Next is controller. Controller is something. Uh, the senior most person in the patent office. For example, like how we have, uh, like a university like uh, Shada University over here, we have vice chancellors, right? So vice, as we have vice chancellors in universities, similarly you have controllers in patent office. Highest authority, they can either reject the patent, either accept the patent. So that is the position of controller. Your application doesn't go to the controller directly, my dear friend. When you file an application, it goes to the examiner. The examiner reviews it. If he feels, you know, so-and-so amendment has to be done, he'll get back to you. You have to do, do a so-and-so amendment and then it will be forwarded to the controller. It doesn't go directly to the controller. It, it is always proceeded via examiner. Few of them have still doubt, like few of the inventors have doubt in India. Uh, in India, if I have filed an application, okay. So for example, if we have inventor Shika with us, okay. Inventor Shika would have a question about, tell me, if I file an application, the first step is that he, the application will get published. I'll tell, yes, Shika, you are right. The first step is that the application will get published. And I'm talking about utility paid. Then Shika will tell me, Awab, if I file an application, if it is published, okay, before the grant stage, can anyone oppose it still? My patent has not been granted. Still, can anyone oppose it? My answer is that yes, it can be opposed. Because in India, you have a pre grant opposition also. Then, <laughs> then we have another inventor, inventor uh, Asha. Inventor Asha would tell me, How up? You tell me, you told me about pre opposition. Even at a publication, anyone can pre oppose it. Now tell me, even after the grant of patent, someone can oppose it. My answer would be yes, Asha. Even after the grant, anyone can oppose it because after the grant, it is kept open for 12 months for any inventors to oppose it. It is kept open by the government of India. That means in India, we have both the system, pre-grant as well as post-grant. That is the way we work over here. Okay. Next, uh, we have patent agents as it was, as someone had posted out about the so uh, filing process and everything is like if they want to hire someone <laughs> patent agent are not government employees let's be very very clear with this they are not government employees they have given an examination they have cleared it and so on so they are eligible to file an application they work as a freelancer how we have freelancers in other on other disciplines right similarly they are freelancers for ipr but not government employees but have the authority to draft and everything but make sure that patent agent should have a knowledge about your technology. A patent agent cannot draft for all the domain. It is difficult. It is always preferable to find an agent or to find a person who have a decent knowledge about your domain. Then only he can really help you in drafting your claims in a much smarter way. Because claims drafting is very, very, very important. That is the, that is the heart of your patent document. Very, very important. We have a question from the inventor Suraj. Can we file without an agent? 110% for sure, Suraj. IPR, government of India doesn't say that you have to hire someone. You can do your own filing. Self-filing is allowed. Yes, it is allowed. People only hire it to make their work much easier because they know the procedure. They are well organized. That's it. But it doesn't have any, there is no norm like that. You have to hire any agent or any advocate, any attorney, nothing like that. Suraj. Yes, inventor uh, Ranjit will be going, will be moving further with it. Different, different kinds of codes. For example, Ranjit have already got a patent for it. Okay. Ranjit have a patent for it. And the Ranjit can see there is also someone who were, who have recently, recently got a patent, which is very similar to Ranjit's patent. Ranjit feels that no, it should not be granted. It should be opposed. So there are n number of ways where Ranjit can complain forward, complain it because like it works similar. Like how do, how do we fight a case? Right? We go to session court, we go to Supreme, uh, high court and Supreme court and so on. 
restrict code. There are various levels we go we go ahead with it. Similarly, when you have any queries with IPR, there's an appellate board form. And if I now certify the appellate board, then you go to next stage and then you go to Supreme Court and a smile verdict which has been decided by Supreme Court and that is finalized. That's it. So even, even if you are, if you, for example, if uh, inventor Asha have filed application and the application has been rejected by the uh, patent office, she can file it, she can complete and she can fight for it. So you don't have to lose hope. There are n number of ways that you can fight for your patent also. So once it is rejected by the Indian patent office, that doesn't mean you cannot reapply, you cannot fight for it. You can fight for it. That is not the last decision. The last decision is something which is made by the Supreme Court, not by the controller office. Let's be very clear. Clarity. So let's let's take two scenarios. Okay, over here. Let's take team two teams, team A and team B. Okay. Team A is something we have Asha and we have Ranjit. Inventor Asha, inventor Ranjit. Team B, we have Dr. Arun and Dr. Vishal and Professor Ankur with us. Team A, inventor Asha, inventor Ranjit. Team B, we have Dr. Arun, Dr. Vishal, and Professor Ankur. Coincidentally, coincidentally, both of them are working on the same product. They don't know each other, but coincidentally, they are working on the same product. One is from North, one is from South. But they are working on the same product. Team A have completed their work almost 90 to 95%. They need more two months of time. That's it. Or one and a half months of time to complete the product. Team B have completed the product only 70% of it. They are working on the same product. Same output. But team B, Dr. Arun, Dr. Vishal, and Professor Ankur, all three are very much aware about the Indian patent law and process. Team A are excellent in their own domain, but they aren't aware about the process filing. Team B, we have Dr. Arun, Dr. Vishal, Professor Ankur, they are excellent in the domain as well as they have the knowledge for IPR as well. The advantage is that they thought team B knows it, ki they would need more 10 to 11 months of time to complete their product. That's it. They go for the filing process as a provisional application. What is the advantage with that? With this is they have gone for the filing. They already got, got a date for their product. And if Asha and Ranjit goes for the filing after two or three months, Indian government follows first to file system. Whoever have filed first, they will be getting the priority for that work. Now you will tell me, Kia, what, this is very unfair. Asha and Ranjit have almost completed for it and they haven't. This is unfair. This should not work. Why they should get priority? But my dear colleague, think, how do we expect the people sitting in the patent office that they will come to know who have started worst first or who have completed what? So in India, we follow first to file system. If you feel key, your work is very, very innovative, if you feel key, it is very competitive into the market, if you're almost finished your work and if you feel key, it will be completed in 10, 10, coming 10 months, because you have a 12 months of bracket. You have to complete your application from provisional to complete application. You have 12 months of bracket. You have to complete that. So you can go for the provisional application so you can get the priority date. That is really important. So this is the way it works, my dear friend. That is known as a priority date. That first to file system. Next is uh, someone was, uh, like we had a question from inventor Varsha at the start of the webinar. She was talking about, tell us about the commercialization. And also tell us about the PCT application. That is a patent cooperation treaty. If you have filed on the same date, same time, then whoever is apply, applying for the examination first will be getting the advantage. Because the rule is that from the filing date, within 48 months of time, you have to request for the examination. Yes, Ujata. First to file system. Yes. Next is, for example, we have inventor Sandhya. 
ओके इन्वेंटर संध्या फील्स की नो आफ्टर फाइलिंग इंडियन एप्लीकेशन शी वॉन्ट्स टू इमीजिएटली फाइल इंटरनेशनल एप्लीकेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू नॉम इफ शी हेज फाइल इंडियन एप्लीकेशन शी हेज टू वेट फॉर ट्वेंटी वन डेज सो वंस इट इज शी वेट फॉर ट्वेंटी वन डेज इमीजिएटली शी कैन फाइल आफ्टर एन इंटरनेशनल पेटर्न what if sandhya feels ki no she doesn't want to file an application in india she only wants to file an application to us is that possible yes it is possible only with a prior ka permission with from the controller it is possible inventor suja with inventor sujata will put me a question how is it possible with only one application can i get patent in all the countries why do i apply separately is it possible or what i'll say no sujata no it is not possible there is nothing known as a one application one international application nothing like that but there is a provision which will help you in filing international patent known as a pct pct and paris convention pct is a patent cooperation treaty where a group of 148 countries have come together to simplify the process of application patent application So, with the PCT application, the form number is RO one hundred one, which is there on the WIPO website. That is World Intellectual Property Organization. With that RO one hundred one form number, you can process your international application. So, what is an advantage, my dear friends? That that application, once you process that application, you have a time period of almost thirty-two months of time. Thirty months of time. So, within the thirty months of time, you will come to know your idea. Once you file the application, you will come to know your idea is. Patentable in among which countries among one forty eight, and which countries would be profitable or commercially profitable for your company. So that is our matter. You don't file all one forty eight together, but you have a system. You have, with that application, you have access to one forty eight countries immediately. That will give you a report that it is possibility for the possibility is high in which country for getting a patent. So that is a, that is a, we have two options known as convention group of countries. Okay, that's a small brief about it. Next, next would be uh, we have again uh, we had where Amis we have for example we have Hivza we have Hivza and we have inventor Hivza inventor Muhammad with us. Very very active people with us. If they have a question to me, Abu Abdul tell me. Uh, How do we come to know? Like, if we complete our product, how do we come to know? How do we analyze? How do we analyze? Keep by our our report is like justifying majority of the norms of patent before filing. How do we judge it? Apart from checking the prior arts, previous work, how we write a research papers, we do a R and D, we do a literature survey. Similarly, over here we say over there we say a literature survey. Over here we say prior arts, like. Uh, searching the previous work and so on i'll be sharing you the two links also where one is a, a patent google link and one is a indian ip link where you can see the already patented products so that i'll be sharing with you don't worry about it so if they both have a question now up tell us ki where we can uh, where what are few conditions where we can be confident yes our product is unique so indian government like ipr ipr 1970 law which has been made it is mentioned three different things three three points If you justify this, if you feel you are we are justifying these three points, you can go ahead with the patent. One is novelty. Second is inventor step. Third is capable of industrial application. Let's go one by one with an with a, by taking few of the examples. When you talk about novelty, for example, I have inventor Samrud, Samrud Paul with us, Samrud Paul with me. So inventor Samrud, we are working on a watch concept. Now everyone will tell me, "Wow." What is this? What's going to be very very old? How do he get? He'll he'll be getting a patent. For example, he made he converted a simple watch, simple watch concept, the dialer wall bala watch concept into a smart watch by using a chip, by technology and something. Okay, and now that watch can also work as a computer and so on. He didn't invent a new product. What he did, he changed the application of it. The application was revised, improved. Changing is not important. It is revised also. It is improved also. So with this conclusion, you come to know that novelty is not about making a new product. It is all about making a new application. So your application should be new, my dear friend, to justify this category. Samrud will be discussing that point in the coming slide. Don't worry, I'll cover up that point. I have noted your point. Next thing is your inventive step. For example, 
वी हैव टू टीम मेंबर्स ओके टीम ए एंड टीम बी अगेन टीम ए इज इन्वेंटर सुजाता टीम बी इज इन्वेंटर समरुद टीम ए एंड टीम बी इन्वेंटर सुजाता इन्वेंटर समरुद ओके नाउ दिस आई विल बी आई विल बी गिविंग यू द टू डिफरेंट सिनेरियोस यू हैव टू आंसर मी द क्वेश्चन ओके इट्स 340 ओके वी हैव 20 मिनट्स मैक्सिमम विद अस सो इन्वेंटर सुजाता इज ऑलरेडी हैविंग अ ड्रग फॉर कैंसर ओके so that drug for cancer it is very very famous in market they she is selling it for 8000 rupees per month for poor patient drug for cancer 8000 rupees per month for poor patient it is effective but the contrary is that it is it is killing the healthy cells as well as the cancer cells also few of the healthy cells and majority of the cancer cells it is into the market inventor samrut so ki yes it is a, it is having a great commercial uh, benefits and so on it, and you can also help the human kind also let's let's start working on that all and few months few years on time inventor sabrut was successful in making the drug with a different chemical composition with a different chemical composition different chemical composition but it was as effective as that of inventor sujata's drug it was selling for the same price and inventor sujata's drug was patented now samrud also made the same drug but with a different chemical composition it is as effective as that of sujata's drug it is as costly as that of sujata's drug it is not highly costed the cost is not more even the effect is not less everything is same The only difference that he he made it, he had put his lot of intellect, lot of hard work, everything by same drug with a different chemical composition. Now the question is to this amazing audience, the inventors over here is that you tell me, will Samrud will get a patent for this? Yes or no? Just reply yes or no. Why or no? Why or and anything will do. Will Samrud will get a patent or not with this? because his application will be first will will be reviewed by the examiner then it will be gone for the controllers right so will examiner accept will will accept this or not there are few challenges my dear friend you trust me my dear inventors you will understand the process it is not about only the filing it is it is all about also creating a concept ki is it it will be valid or not whatever you are planning for it that's the reason i'm taking scenarios so, so that it will become much easier for you my dear colleagues Amazing! Thank you so much for inventor Sandhya, uh, Tejashree, Shikha. Thank you so much for being so supportive. People have also which who have answered it uh, before Shikha as well. The answer is no. The answer is no. I'll tell you how the examiner will examine. Firstly, examiner will see. It is not about only you putting the efforts, blood and sweat for it. My answer was he. Made the same drug with a different chemical composition, but the effect is same. The price is same. The examiner will see: is it more effective? Is it only killing the cancer cells, not killing the healthy cells? Is it very, very cheaper than economically? Very, very cheaper than the previous one? It does not have any any side effects. so all these parameters will also make a difference my dear colleague so this is the way examiner will judge it before going to the controller examiner will prepare so and so he will judge it the application will get rejected so you have to be very very smart enough it has to have a very very better advantage than the previous one which is already patented neither you have patent grant won't be sir now you you will question me how tell us ki how many how much percentage should be different there is nothing known as percentage then they fix yeah if it cross 21% you will get patent nine nothing like that the point is that the application should be better and improvised at what level let them decide but it should be better and improvised as much as you it is possible from your end and from your teams So that is the category for second one. Let's go to the third one. Capable of industrial application. I'll, I'll just freeze this point within one line. Simple as that. It should be useful for humankind. That's it. This is a golden statement. 
you should not make anything which is not useful for human kind directly indirectly it should be useful for human kind simple as that so these are the three criteria my dear friend which has been mentioned by the uh, ipr indian government websites ip and fi ipr documents by the indian government so this is the act which we have to be very 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 careful I have a question from Hemlata. Hemlata have also taken a pre-tech exam examination. Yes, Hemlata, you are eligible because the eligibility criteria is any graduation. Any graduation, you prepare for the pre-tech examination. The syllabus is there on the pre-tech exam website. The question paper is also there on ipindia.nic.in. The question paper is also there. Uh, any graduation is the eligibility. You you have to prepare for it. There are the syllabus defined syllabus for the Indian pre-tech website. The examination is held after two or uh, two and a half years every year. In fact. the last examination was uh, was supposed to be held on 29th june 2020 but it got delayed because of the covid the revised date they haven't announced yet so that's a small brief about hemrata if you are seriously in preparing i have the complete notes for it uh, you can just mail mail it to me i'll just share all the all the notes from my end what a uh, but what if the new drug is more yes yes asha if the new drug is more useful it will go for the patent process but if, what if if it is on the same version if the, what has been granted if it is same as it is if it is same why the new patent why why this drug will get a patent for it it has to be a revised simple as that it has to show a economic factor as well as a technical factor both the parameters if one of the parameters is very very high for example if that drug is for 8000 rupees right and he is uh, making that drug for 800 rupees but he is not improvising uh, in in case of the technical factors but one of the factors he has drastically changed it 10x times so in that case yes he is eligible for it but that change is not drastic in, in he is changing only one parameter and that is also it is not major drastic changes then it is difficult that he will clear the examination So, my dear friends, these are the uh, following forms: Form One, Form Two, Form Three, Form Five, Form Twenty Six. You have to file for the examination. Now, you will tell me, Awab, don't tell me the form number. Tell me what is this form name? Yes, it will be. It will be coming in the coming slide. I'll tell you what is Form One for, what is Form Two for, what is Form Three for, what is Form Five for. These are the compulsory form. Form Twenty Six is not compulsory. I'll tell you what is the Form Twenty Six used for. Form One, Form Two, Form Three, Form Five are the compulsory form which is used for. Okay, as a researchers, as a educationalist, we come under the category of national category. Okay. we have two categories other are for the companies and so on we won't be going into much detail for it we have two categories one is e filing one is physical filing e filing the fees are 10% lower than the physical filing my dear friends okay and if you talk talk about this are the filing fees for the patent utility okay but if you want to go for in design patent the official filing fees 1000 rupees for design patent for patent utility it is 1600 rupees okay next uh filing the first branch is in mumbai following people from the following states and united states can apply in mumbai if they want to apply offline if they want to they don't want to apply offline uh sorry online they can go for the offline system people from following states in the first block and united states can apply in mumbai similarly for chennai following states and the following united states so there are four offices mumbai chennai delhi and kolkata just for your information document if you are the people will say okay top you told me lots lots of thing about patent and so on whether people involved into patent office and the form number you told me about it and different different way we can license and so on okay okay fine 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 now tell me how to make the document i will the document part is very very simple the drafting is difficult the content writing that is a, that is a unique way that is not similar to as that of how we how we write a research paper my dear friend only two things is different over here when i talk about a document presentation everything is very similar like you use a4 sheet everyone use that the dimension is 21 29.7 cm and by and so on there is everything everyone using the same format okay the margin top and left should be a 4 cm that is a sign pattern for filing document bottom and right should be a 3 cm one of the most unique thing is that ki uh, um, if you have 25 lines in first page right multiple of fifth line should be numbered if you have 25 lines in first page multiple of fifth line should be numbered that means fifth line should be numbered 10th line should be numbered 15th line should be numbered 20th 20th line 25th line now you will tell me how where to number left or right left hand side 
So left hand side, every multiple of fifth line should be numbered. Number one, number two, number three, number five, and so on. And so on, it will be continued, my dear friends. If you tell me ki, what, what are the official final language for Python, either it could be English or Hindi. English or Hindi. That's it. Only two languages, nothing else. No regional languages. Okay. Uh, type of application, we have almost covered all. So we won't be going much in detail. I'll, I'll give you only one example. For example, we have uh, inventor Nadeem with us from Delhi. Okay. Uh, inventor Nadeem, for example, uh, he has been working for four years on a patent. Okay. You already got a patent uh, granted for it, but still after creating a grant, he's very curious about his product. He's still continuing working on them. Okay. For more one or two years, he was still working on it. After working on, after even after getting a grant, after two or three years, he came with a few more good conclusions. But inventor Nadeem was very sure that he won't be getting a new patent for this, for this the revised work. It is not such a big work. He was he won't be getting a new patent. So what he has an option, he has an option that a patent which has already been granted, he can add few new, new things to it as well. So that is something known as additional application. Something which has been additional, even after getting the grant, he can add it. That means he is making his portfolio patent application stronger and stronger day by day. So that is option is also available. So that way, Inventor Nadim can go ahead with it. Okay. Uh, next thing, uh, Indian patent filing. So I, I, we, we discussed about the form number. Over here, we have the form number and we have more nine minutes. So form one is for the application for the grant of patent, my dear friends. Form two is for the provisional slash complete. As we discussed about Dr. Arun, Dr. Vishal, if they were aware of it, they went for the provisional application and you have a 12 months of period time so that you can complete your application. Okay. So when... When I say about completing application, that means the claims are compulsory. In provisional application, even if you don't put the claims, it's okay. But when you complete the application, the claims is mandatory. Okay. Provisional, that means with the abstract, you can go ahead with it. Form three, statement and undertaking. Form five, declaration as to inventorship. These are the four forms which is compulsory. Everyone should fill it. If anyone will, anyone, anyone feels key, no, they are. Their, their idea, the innovation, everything is very ready. They only go, for, they only want to go for the, for the form filling, but they don't have any sample forms. How to draft it? How to fill the details? Don't worry. Uh, you have, you'll be getting my mail ID. You can drop a mail, keeping Dr. Vishal sir and CC. Uh, I'll share my uh, sample documents to you. Then you can uh, do what you. Want. If you want to do on your own, you can. Okay, so that is possible. As I said, form twenty six is not compulsory. Okay, form twenty six is only used only when when you are hiring some professional to draft and, and present the application in on behalf of yourself. Okay. Only then some form 26 is utilized. Neither no, not, not required. Okay. Next is uh, the first stage is that you go for the publication, my dear. Okay. For the publication, my difference, it takes between 12 to 18 months of time. Now, if the pickup will feel no. And when the pickup wants like the publication should be very fast. She doesn't want to wait for so long. So inventor the pickup, if she feels she doesn't want to wait for so long, then she have an option known as by using form nine, by using form nine, she can expedite her process. Her publication can be done within 30 days to 45 days or maximum 60 days of time. So that is also an option available form nine by paying 2,500 rupees. Things will work out. Trust me. Don't worry about it. Okay. So that's our form thing. Once it is published, my dear friend on the Indian Patent website, then you can request for the examination. Whenever you are prepared for the examination, you can request for the examination by putting a form 18. Okay. Now we have already discussed form 18. You have to make sure you have to apply for form 18 within the 48 months, 48 months from not from the publication date, from the application date, from when you have applied from that date within 48 months, you have to request for the examination. Either you will, you will lose your application. Okay. So this, you have to take care of it. Uh, I can see one of the question, how we can file an international patent application from Indian forms and fees for application. The international application, if you want to form, go to IPO website. The form number is RO101. Then you can go ahead with the application and so on. Then you can select your uh, country as well. Okay. For a US application, if you, if you go, if you calculate all the process, all the application fees, including the attorney fees and so on, the, the charges goes between uh, 4.5 lakh rupees to 7 lakh rupees. That is arranging. For Indian application patent, if you go with the proper professional authority, professional patent attorney, okay, the charges goes between 975,000 rupees to 97,000 rupees. That is the standard range. Okay, even few of the uh, IITs, if they, if they have a collaboration with any of the patent attorney, the charges goes in this the same manner. 
okay they have a breakage also in between like stage wise amount that is also there that is not an issue about it so it depends from university to university which university you are affiliated to 48 months at any time no 48 months from the date of the application that within that you have to apply for the examination okay now uh, someone said yes ranjit or someone said the inventor said ki jo tell us about the complete process okay in the coming uh, we have like it's 355 within like 4 5 minutes we'll complete the complete journey we are take maximum 5 minutes then we'll sum up okay we won't extend it beyond 4 o'clock as committed we have in complete 3 to 4 minutes we'll understand the complete journey how your application is processed under indian government let's go with it let's go this step number 1 step number 1 is the application okay so once you apply application for application what forms you have to use you can start applying to chat room if you know which form you have to use form number 1 even if, if you know the form number name also fantastic okay form number 1 you have to use form number 2 form number 3 form number 5 okay with this forms you can proceed with your application okay once you proceed with the application my dear friends then it goes for the publication publication maximum it will take 18 months of time as we discuss about the inventor dipika if she doesn't want to wait for so much of time what she have an op- op- option yes she has an option that by using form 9 by using form 9 she can expedite the process and she can make it shorter by 30 to 45 days or maximum 60 days of time that is also possible okay so once it is published my dear friend then then she has an option that you have to request for the examination within the 48 months from the date of the filing okay 48 months from the date of the filing okay once she applies for the by using form 18 okay she have to apply for the examination then she have to prepare for the examination and so on then she have to face the examination then the team of controllers and the expert committees will come to conclusion either they will say yes either they will say no so let's see what are the possibilities what are the steps are involved if they say yes and what if they say no okay first let's be positive okay inventors let's see what if if we all if we all over here the participants who are there into the chat room if you all work like a family okay assuming all we are into one one team we are into team a okay and team b is uh, dr arun <laughs> okay come we are complete into team a and team b is dr arun a very senior person with with there with us okay so what happens with us so team a already got a patent granted so patent is granted congratulation to all the inventors into this group amazing okay what if if the patent is granted that means it is kept open for 12 months where anyone can oppose it okay so we all into team a and team b is dr arun dr arun feels key no this part should not be granted because what i have a patent it is objecting that that clause a few of the clauses it is objecting it so dr arun will oppose it that is a post grant opposition okay then after opposing there will be a committee form which will which will be hearing to both the parties team a and dr arun okay so let's see ki what are the conclusion they will be drawing it a few of the major conclusions could be the conclusion one would be uh, controller and his team would uh, would say after hearing to both the parties team a the complete team over here and dr arun they will say dr arun dr arun whatever whatever points you are claiming it uh, uh, we are not we are whatever points you are claiming it against this uh, patent what we have granted uh, it is invalid the patent which we have granted it will continue that would be one of the way second way it would be the team would reply dr arun because he has opposed it he, he felt you know it should not be granted okay fear then in second way would be the team would say dr arun so and so points three to four points whatever you have put it down yes it is make it is very valid we have told the team a to make the following amendments then only their application will be processed this could also be the option next what if if the answer was no if the answer was no that means the patent is refused i already said to you when the patent is refused you don't have to worry you can fight for a patent as how we fight in court right similarly you can fight for it there is an appellate appellate board form the appellate board will listen to your case okay they will listen to your case and you have to convey to it why the controller decision like the controller team is not valid why you feel ki it should be granted if appellate board will feel ki no the decision taken by the controller and his team is not valid it should be granted then they have the right to grant it And if they grant it, they will follow the same process. Process what we have followed. And what if if the upgrade board feels that no, the decision taken by the controller is not valid and it should not be, uh, it should not, it should not go ahead. Then even they will reject it. And the third option would be the points which is claimed by Doctor Arun sir, which is a senior boss considering the senior boss person with us. 
so they the controller will say no whatever the points been put up by the controller uh, put up by dr arun all points are valid what we have granted should be rejected and it will be, the process will be continued so this is the way your application is processed under indian government especially your utility patent i'm not talking about design patent utility patent in design there is no examination my dear friend uh, they will review it either they will generate a query either they will grant it straight away okay if they generate a query then you have to resolve it you have to answer it answer it back so that that's it from my end thank you so much for everyone for be, for giving a precious time thank you so much dr arun dr vishal shraddha university the complete organizing team and the amazing inventors with us thank you so much thank you dr rabab thank you so much for sparing your valuable time and i need not to say anything about the utility of this webinar which is evident from the appreciation messages written by the participants in the chat window you can also read them and uh, there was one question uh, by one participant i think miss asha as she could not listen to the answer given by you to that question that can we sell the idea to a company as yeah she could not hear the your answer to that question can we sell the idea to a company this is the question uh inventor asha if you're talking about selling something to a company you have to be very documented and very comparative if you talk even if you're talking about idea there have to be a working towards it no one will give you a single penny unless and until you prove that what you are proposing it is something x times better than the current system which has already been there into the market you have to be very documented you put some idea onto on paper that one doesn't work out you have to be very comparative like for example if you're talking about patent okay so if you want to patent an idea so that firstly that is not possible idea and imagination even in patent you have like you have to do a comparison you have to do a prior art search then you have to bring a result down to it and then you have to compare it ki what is there and what is not there this is the way it works and if second contrary if you're talking about startup industry right if you want to if you want to lead in that idea into a startup you have to see both the parameters one is the viability of the product second is the commercialization of the product unless and if you don't work on this why someone else will invest it so mentioning only an idea is not a proper word proper way i can convey to you but if we say ki yes if there is an idea and i have worked on it Somebody wanted to. Have, there have to be a something quantum definition for something when you, if you see an idea. Yeah, and if you have any idea, you can share it. I can give you a comment on it on my mail ID. Avab sir, can you please close your sharing so that uh, we uh, people can on the video and can see their self and to you. Yes, sir. Yes. Who are the I audience know. and what are the speakers and we can uh, take the good photograph with the audience also. Sure, 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 uh -huh. sir. Dr. Vishal, it was a very wonderful question. lecture, sir. And yeah. during this uh, your lecture, I have also taken one class, so I miss your session during one hour. I was in the class. Yeah, Dr. Abab, there is one more question. If you don't mind to answer it. Yes, sir. Please. Yeah, there, this is the question from Mr. Muhammad Farooq. That can we go for patent for software or code to obtain the application? so as of now inventor of mohammed uh, you can only copyright a software you cannot patent a software under indian laws if you want to patent a software it is available under us category in us you can patent a software but in india you cannot sir yeah thank you thank you dr awab thank you so much for you, sparing your valuable time and sharing your thoughts and experience and your knowledge about the patenting applications and ipr rules of india thank you very much sir thank yeah you, dr arun. vishal you may please yeah. yes yes sir uh, thank you avab sir and thank you arun sir uh, i have a two points to mention i requested to all participants please on your video so that we can take a one group photograph and secondly uh, anku sir has shared the feedback link in the chat window you please fill the feedback link and we will send the certificate participation certificate to you on tomorrow so i request to all please share the google form and uh, form will be disabled by 420 you have a 15 minutes to fill the form and i request to all please on your video
so that we can take a one group photograph participants kindly switch on your video so that we can go for a group photograph I hope all have filled the feedback form. Can please can can you please confirm in the chat window? Have you filled the feedback form? So that we are going to close the session. If you have filled the feedback form, because certificates will be generated through feedback form. Thank you so much, Awab sir. for giving your valuable time to us thank you sir thank you thank you once again dr abab thank you thank you thank you all the participants thank you for uh, sparing your time and for your patient listening and being so supportive while answering your questions in the chat box Dr. Awab has shared his email ID in the chat section. You can take a note of it. It's fakifawab at gmail dot com. Link okay, Awab sir, has also been you shared. can leave, sir. We can wait here for next five minutes. so that participants can get the link and so we much. will make a plan to you for a offline workshop at sharda university sir sir thank you so much sir my yeah. pleasure thank you thank so you much. so much sir thank goodbye you, sir goodbye thank you sir 5 minute ke baad close kar denge